Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss an important equation from uh, algebra, right? And here uh, we have to solve this uh, equation uh, for x in which uh, uh, the greatest integer function is involved, right? So let us start and here we have the equation that is greatest integer of x divided by greatest integer of x minus 2 minus greatest integer of x minus 2 divided by greatest integer of x is equal to 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12 divided by greatest integer of x minus 2 times greatest integer of x, right? And obviously here uh, those values of uh, uh, x are not allowed. Uh, which makes the denominator uh, 0, right? So, this is obvious. And now, uh, let us uh, start and uh, solve this equation, right? So, what we will do, we will uh, first take this right-hand side, that is, uh, we will take the LCM. So, here we have greatest integer of x minus 2, here we have greatest integer of x, and here uh, we have greatest integer of x square. Right? So, this term is multiplied with this term minus this term is multiplied with this, uh, this term. So, we have x minus 2 greatest integer square. Right? And here we have 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12 and uh, here we have greatest integer of x minus 2 and greatest integer of x. Right? Now, see uh, these two terms get cancelled and now we are left with greatest integer of uh, x square minus uh, uh, greatest integer of x minus 2 square. Here we have greatest integer 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12, right? Now here, uh, let us apply the property uh, that is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b, a plus b, right? So, here we'll have greatest integer of x minus greatest integer of x minus 2. And here we have greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x minus 2. And here 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12. So, now in order to uh, simplify uh, this expression further, uh, here we'll make use of one important a property of greatest integer function, right? See, uh, we know that uh, if we have greatest integer of x plus, say, uh, here we have i, i denotes some integer, right? Then the greatest integer of x plus uh, uh, i, that is, i is integer, this can be written as greatest integer of x plus i, right? So, this is an important property of uh, greatest integer function. Right? See, for example, if we have, say, um, 4.2 plus 3, right? Then we can write this as uh, greatest integer of 4.2 uh, plus 3, right? See, 3 is the integer. So, greatest integer of 4.2 is simply 4 and this is 4 plus 3, 7, right? And if we directly add 4.2 plus 3, then we'll get uh, 7.2. Right? And uh, greatest integer of 7.2 is simply 7. So, these both these uh, uh, values are equal. Right? And similarly, if we have 0 0.7 say seven plus uh, say 6. Right? Then again by making uh, use of this property, uh, we can write greatest integer of uh, uh, 0 0.7 plus 6. 6 being the integer. Right? So, the greatest integer of 0 0.7 uh, is 0. So, we have 0 plus 6 is equal to 0. And if we directly add these two numbers, uh, what we will get? We will get 6.7. And greatest integer of 6.7 is uh, uh, 6. And again, both these values are equal. Right? So, this is how we can verify this uh, um, a property or we can understand this property by taking these two examples, right? So, see, uh, here we have uh, greatest integer of x minus 2. Here also we have greatest integer of x minus 2. So, we can write greatest integer of x minus 2 as greatest integer of x plus minus 2, right? And see, uh, minus 2 is an integer uh, that is i. 
so we can write greatest integer of x plus minus of 2 and this can be written as greatest integer of x minus 2 right so now for greatest integer of x minus 2 we can replace greatest integer of x minus 2 so now we have here greatest integer of x minus greatest integer of x minus 2 and then here we have greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x minus 2 and here we have 8 times uh, greatest integer of x plus 12 right so we have greatest integer of x minus greatest integer of x and here we have plus 2 and here we have greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x this is 2 times greatest integer of x minus 2 and this is 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12 here these two terms get cancelled so we are left with 2 times 2 times greatest integer of x minus 2 this is 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12 multiplying these two terms by 2 we will get 4 times uh, greatest integer of x minus 4 here we have 8 times greatest integer of x plus 12 and uh, if we simplify this expression uh, what we will get uh, we'll get 4 times greatest integer of x minus 8 times greatest integer of x taking this term to this side this term to this side so we have 12 plus 4 so this is uh, now uh, minus 4 times greatest integer of x is equal to 16 so now greatest integer of x is equal to 16 over minus 4 that is minus 4 right so now finally we have greatest integer of x is equal to a uh, minus 4 right so now uh, finally we have greatest integer of x is equal to minus 4 and from here we have to find uh, the valid values of x which satisfies uh, this equation right so uh, we know from the definition of uh, greatest integer of uh, x uh, when x lies between uh, minus 4 and minus 3 then uh, this implies that greatest integer of x is equal to minus 4, right? So, see, uh, if we have this uh, real number line, here we have 0, here we have minus 1, this is minus 2, minus 3, this is minus 4, this is minus 5, right? And see, uh, here we have greatest integer of x is equal to minus 4, right so whenever x lies between minus 4 and minus 3 right including uh, x equal to minus 4 then uh, all the values of x which lies between minus 4 and minus 3 the value of greatest integer of uh, those values must be equal to minus 4 right so uh, if we uh, dark this circle here then uh, here we can encircle uh, minus 3 so whenever we have any value of x lying between uh, these two numbers including minus 4 but excluding uh, minus 3 right so when x is minus 4 then obviously greatest integer of uh, uh, minus 4 is uh, uh, here we have minus 4 and uh, other values of x which lies between minus 4 and minus 3 uh, the greatest integer of x is always equal to minus 4 right so we have the interval that is x belonging to uh, here we have the closed interval so we have minus 4 and here we have the uh, open interval uh, minus 3 right so all values of x which belongs to this interval which is uh, closed from the left and open from the right uh, it will satisfy uh, this equation right or this equation so here we can also take some individual values to understand uh, this uh, uh, concept uh, say if we take x is equal to minus 3.9 right so obviously minus 3.9 it lies uh, somewhere here right so the greatest integer of minus 3.9 is minus 4 Right? Similarly, if we take say x is equal to minus 3.2, uh, 
and minus 3.2 it lies somewhere here right and greatest integer of minus 3.2 is minus 4 right so there may be an infinite number of uh, uh, solution uh, for uh, this equation as we know that uh, between any two integers uh, there may be an infinite number of real numbers so finally the solution of this equation is given by uh, this interval right